Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. So today I'm going to be trying out the art of field flipping and I do have a few things to say about this. The first one is I don't actually know exactly who thought of this idea originally. It certainly wasn't me, but I do want to give it a go. Um, now I don't know if it was Mr. Sealy P or one of his viewers or someone completely different, um, but yes, I know that Mr. Sealy P has done this, but so have other YouTubers too. So I really don't know. If you are the original creator of Field Flipping in FS19, then, well, the credit will have to go to you in the next video. But as for this video, I don't really know. But Mr. CDP is the most obvious one to me that created the idea, or one of his viewers. So either way, thank you to all of you. Okay, so what we're going to do is basically pick a field and buy it, harvest the crop which is in there, and sell it. I might even cut some grass which is around the headland and get some bales out of that as well or just maybe some hay or even just grass in the in the forage wagon in the loading wagon it doesn't really matter so first things first i need to find a field which is growing a good crop now i did see a good field but i have no idea what's growing in it it was field number 26 next to my field number 25 the reason why i think it looks tempting is because the majority of the land which you can actually purchase is the field like for example my field so much of it is just the mountainside and it's just wasted land really. So that is a good one to go for. One which is bad to go for is, well 33 isn't great because there's all this wasted land here and all the way up here. Uh, there are much worse though. For example, well, a section of land like this. Uh, but yeah, you get the idea. It needs to be a field, in my opinion, which is covered mostly with the field. So field number 13, with the crop I should say. So yeah, field 26 is promising however it is growing sugar beet which is not promising because i have no sugar beet harvester so i'm gonna to have to either wait until the good crop appears in there or just pick another field field 11 is good but of course it has to be in price range and that is not it has to be in my budget um so it's very tricky like film one that could have been good but it includes all this land up here which isn't going to bring in any profit for me because when i come to sell the field i have to of course make a profit i can't just break even or make a loss i've had hunt around and i have come to the conclusion that field number 26 really is the best field i can afford it and also ma the majority is covered with the field with the crop there is a bit of mountain sideness but uh yeah not a great deal mountain sideness so i can see that the sugar beet is actually almost fully grown it's still growing but uh, yeah very soon that should be harvested by the owner of the land. Uh, I think the best thing to do here is actually just to sleep. I can afford to sleep for a day because I actually have the horses which are also waiting uh, to be sold but they're not fully trained and sleeping is a good way of getting them trained it would appear. I'm not tired so I'm just gonna have to play the waiting game. I suppose while playing the waiting game to make it a bit more interesting I could clear up some of these spilt pieces of grain. This is gonna have to be a very fast job though um, because I do not want to be spending all the episode doing this. I have loads to do. By the end of the episode I'm hoping to have actually sold the field again. I've done all that, that I need to do within the field and I do need to most importantly keep track of my expenses and income to make sure I actually do make a profit. So I think probably for the first time ever I'm going to have to make some notes in the making of the video. So yeah, <laughs> if I just go and do this first though at least it keeps things tidy here. The egg production is going to stay fairly high and he's make as much money as possible off these eggs because as you've noticed, hopefully, um, yeah, they, they do make a lot of money. I think I made, what did I make? It was something serious in the, uh, well, a few episodes back when I stacked them high. It was very impressive. Yeah, the next crop has to have actually grown as well when I buy it. I, I can't just go buying it if it's not even been drilled. So it has to be harvested, drilled, and it has to grow. But hopefully, yeah, it, it shouldn't take too long to do that. Right, so they are empty. They can have all the spilt floor food. Because it's extra tasty. It has grit in it, which is actually very good for egg production. We do give chickens grit for a nice hard shell. There we go. Right, that should keep them going. Right, let's go back to the waiting game. Remove tops, which is basically the sugar beet way of saying ready to harvest. 
You boring dog. Gives me time to inspect my lovely hanging basket. Mmm. They're nice smelling flowers. And now I can actually sleep. So, maximum 14 hours. There we go. It's the best way of doing things. Because uh, it does need to have time to grow and everything. They are seriously messy. One night and you've done this. On the plus side, someone's been busy. Wow, that's going to fill my trailer. In fact, that's going to fill it so much, I'm going to have to go onto another layer. I'm going to stack, if I can do, too high. Um, this is going to be one mega delivery of wool. So that's actually gone really well, um, except for one fairly vital thing. Uh, I managed to get loads of wool, which is the good thing. The bad thing is the, the field which I've actually just been waiting for, the farmer has replanted sugar bees. So I'm going to have to get fill number 11, which I can't currently afford, but I can if I sell things like the wool and the eggs, or possibly just the wool actually, because um, there's even more here and the price is on the rise, which is good. So I'm going to keep loading and hopefully, yeah, by the time I come to sell these, the price is going to be at its best. It wasn't too far off its best now, I think, so have a look. Okay, it's actually stopped. It was rising. It's 1732, which isn't that good, uh, but it is certainly better than it has been. So I could just go and sell these and see how much I can get. Um, not really expecting miracles, though, with that price. Wool doesn't seem to be worth what it was worth in FS17. It seems to be the eggs which are worth a fortune on uh, 19. So I do actually have loads of eggs to sell. I might do that really quickly. But I'm fully aware of this actually digging quite deep into the, the episode, all this waiting. So I might just have to, uh, yeah, just do it all off screen. Right then, so yeah, let's go. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to get for this. It's about 10,000 litres of wool, I think, so maybe £20,000. Like I say, it's not worth what it used to be. It's not too bad, though. I oh, don't tip over, please. Good. That was my atrocious driving. And there it goes. All the wool. It just sell fairly quickly. Uh, yes, it actually was not a bad price at all. It's still going, but come on. Am I powerful enough to pull these things off by hand? I doubt it. No. Why is he not selling? There he goes. It's kind of going. It wants to go, but it, it just... It likes the trailer too much. Maybe if I drop off the trailer. Weird. <laughs> it did actually work. Um, yeah, so 143 in total. That's pretty good. Not too sure how much I got off the, uh, the wall on its own. Probably about... What was it? About 20,000, like I said. So yeah, I could just sell the eggs or I could just extend the loan for a couple of days and repay that, which wouldn't really cost anything. And also, if I make a massive profit off the field, then, well, it's worth it. Uh, of course, if I didn't have to extend the loan in the first place, then field flipping could be an even better thing to do. Um, so I'm probably going to do it again in the future, when I actually do have the money to begin with to be able to buy the field. But I did want to buy the other field, which I've already mentioned, which I can afford, which is the thing which is so annoying. If I had a sugar beet harvester... I would, I would do it, but um, yeah, I don't have one, so it's not really possible. So that can go there, ready for next time. There's going to be loads more wall pallets appearing, um, but it is really the chicken farm which I'm hoping to expand in the future, and also the horses, and I do need to get some cows and pigs fairly soon, but I don't think I'm going to get any more sheep. I think that's enough sheep. So time to buy this field. It's already been planted, so yeah, 192648 is the number I need to record. So let's go and take a look at my purchase, which is only going to be mine for probably a day, <laughs> maximum. So yeah, unless of course it takes a long time to grow, hopefully it won't do. Ooh, that's a bit of uh, skillful driving. So there it is. It is a crop of soybeans and it looks pretty good. What I can do while I'm waiting for it to grow is cut some of this grass and make some money off that too. So I need to keep track of anything which I sell uh, before I sell the field. So. Yeah, number one, we'll grab a mower and I will just probably pick it up with a loading wagon and sell that over at the barn. Bit of free grass. 
I'm tempted to put it in my animal's trough because they could do with it, but then it wouldn't really be a fair test. I can't really keep track of the income or the expenses if I do that. So here we go. Right, it's just going to be literally once around the headland. That's all I can really do. Uh, I don't know if it's going to have to be rowed up. It might have to be. I might be able to just get away with picking it up with the loading wagon. But either way, it is just extra. All of it is extra. And look at me. So excited, I am putting the mower out in the road. How dangerous. Um, yeah, signposts are going to have to keep clear here. So here we go. I can't go too close to the edge because anyway, it's just going to go over the border and it's not going to be mine, so it's just going to have a load of trouble picking this up. I might be able to go a little bit closer, but yeah, not too close. So anything which I get here is income. Not profit, not necessarily profit, um, but I've just checked and the field is still worth the same amount, so this could have really worked quite well. Okay, so that has cut the grass obviously where I can go, uh, which is actually a surprising amount. I'm quite impressed with the amount that I have been able to cut there. Um, so I could even ted this and turn it into hay and create some hay bales and stuff, but it all comes down to the price of what I can sell them for. So if I just take a look here, I can see that we've got hay, grass and straw icons. Uh, straw is not going to be a factor in this field uh, since it's soybeans, but Again, that is another thing you can get out of a field if you were going to do this field flipping idea. So, I don't know exactly which is the best to go for. They're very, very similar. Um, yeah. It's a tough one. Now, annoyingly, I don't know which is which out of those. So, if I go and stick a bale spike in a straw bale, that will eliminate the straw bale. Uh, I don't think I have any hay... Uh, but I could also use the front loads of bucket to scoop up some of this grass and then I can see what the grass icon is. It's a very long winded thing, which I'm going to do off screen. But first, I have a mower to put back in here. There we go, and then I have a choice of what to pick up. If it's going to be hay, tether, if it's going to be grass, windrower. Ah, thank you sheep, they've given me some samples. So that is grass, that one there, 104, the cheapest. Which means it is definitely worth, well, it's definitely worth it if, <laughs> if that was the hay. Um, my guess is that's hay at 106, which is not even worth the diesel which you'd use to uh, produce the, the hay, so I don't know. I will see which is which, but that is a good opportunity to give them some, some grass, there you go. Okay, let's see here. Right, so yep, yeah, that one there is hay. This is grass. It looks like the cheapest, because it is, but that's what I'm going to have to go for. It's only between these two anyway, because it just isn't worth the time and the fuel to get £2 extra per 1,000 litres. <laughs> that is rubbish. Um, so yeah, just a windrower and also a loading wagon. I can't seem to take that off. Get off. There we go. Too high. There is actually a mod which allows you to distinguish the different crop types much easier, different icons and stuff, and I actually think it says the text as well, so it would actually say grass in text, which is a good idea. I seem to be transporting some straw around. Anyone for straw? No? Okay, I might as well sell it. I have loads of bales. More straw. I have a habit of leaving straw around everywhere. As soon as the price is really good, I'm going to be selling all those bales, with the exception of maybe three. But this is just to get rid of this. A uh, bit of extra money, not from the field which I am recording figures from. 820. Nice. Okay. So, yeah, Windrow next. 
think actually I might use the Ford and the Windrow. Adds a bit of variety. Plus I have taken off the front crane. Floor food. Now, if there was a follow me mod, I could have both these going at the same time, but unfortunately, it, is, it doesn't exist uh, at the moment. I don't know if it's going to. I, I really don't know. But GPS is definitely, I think, going to happen. I think. I think I'm right. Uh, but yeah, as for follow me, not too sure. Looks like it took too long. It's all right though. I could actually do a second cut. I could cut that again and get even more off it. But no, I'll be, uh, I'll be good. I'll take just what I've got here even wider than my windrow. So, yep, I'm just going to do all of this, and then I'll pick it all up. And hopefully by then, the crop will be ready. It seems to be so slow. I've noticed that different crops do grow at different rates in this game. Whereas I think in 17, they're all the same. Unless it's just my imagination, but I don't think it is. go, that is my wind drawing done. Probably not done very well, but it is done. Uh, as for the bits which are classes on another piece of land, it might be an issue picking them up. But yeah, I'll just get what I can do. Um, after all, this is potentially all extra. It depends <laughs> the, on the resale value of the field. I really don't know if the resale value changes with the different crops which could be in it. I, I don't know. Um, this is all new to me. I'm just trying it down because a viewer mentioned it, in fact several viewers have mentioned it and I thought it was an interesting idea so I'm giving it a go. Anyway, take this back and I'll grab the thing. Uh, loading wagon. Oh! Lunatic. Right, okay, so I'm just going to probably drive forward. Yes, I'm going to because I have just done that. There we go. Uh, time to get the case tractor. And... We'll see. I, I have I can't even predict how much it's gonna pick up here. I don't know what the yield would be like, but all I do know is anything I do pick up is extra money. Okay, so I'm going to do what I always do and basically go and pick up the final piece and go against what I said about not keeping stuff for myself because it's going to mess up the recording of the, the money. But I really could do with this final piece of grass, so I'm just going to go and pick it up and give it to the sheep. And anybody else who wants to have some grass. It's very tasty stuff, I understand. That is, of course, if you're a farm animal. I wouldn't really fancy eating it myself. Although, freshly cut grass... When you've been mowing the lawn, it smells very good, but not good enough to eat. Yeah, it's literally just this piece here. And some of this I can't even pick up because it's over the boundary. Uh, so it's just going to be the perfect amount to give to the sheep. There we go. Just over 2,000 litres. So the field is now ripe, which means I can get the combine working. I think I'll keep it going overnight. Um, and then what I'll do is hopefully fit it all in one trailer, it is soybeans so there's not going to be a great deal coming off it and uh, yeah just sell it, see how much we get off it and hopefully then finally sell the field. 
then I can do my calculations. I'm pretty rubbish at mathematics, but even so, I will try and calculate it correctly and see roughly how much I've made, uh, obviously minus the grass which I've just put there. So here is the combine harvester. Yep, this mighty beast is going to be harvesting that field as well. It is going to be replaced. It is definitely going to be replaced. But with some more live streams and some more field flipping and all my chickens, eggs and stuff, it's not going to be too long until I can afford the John Deere... whatever it is. <laughs> the smallest John Deere that we can buy in the game. I am useless with John Deere model numbers. Trundle... Yeah, I got hit by a car over here before. I don't know if you noticed in the time lapse. Absolutely atrocious driving. <laughs> Look at that. That driver is risking in their life. It's a common harvester flying towards them at 13 miles per hour. Right, here we go. Okay, let's get this thing going. Um, and yeah, like I say, I could just keep taking more cuts off this grass if I wanted to. But I'm not going to. I'll call it one cut. See how we go. I should probably prepare a trailer. That would be a good thing to do. I would use the combine, but to be honest, it's kind of slow. It's painfully slow. It is time that it was replaced, like I say. I do need to. Plus it costs more. Having that thing because of the uh, extra time it takes. Really small working width. There you go. Apologies for the atrocious reversing there. It might already have some oats in it. But I should be able to give them to the horses. Horses, you want food? There you go. Tasty stuff. Now take it all. Okay, don't take it all. It's morning. Uh, yep, now it's time to slow down time because this is where it ends. I'm not going to be racing through any more days. If I do, I'm going to have no food and drink left for the animals. It's very important I do keep up with them. Um, so yeah, what, what can we establish here? In one night, the Combine has managed to go up the field, and that's about it. Very good work. It's filling up actually really quickly, and also there is a great demand very soon, from what I can tell, looking at the prices, on soybeans. So this is actually going to go really well. Um, I also want to check exactly how much this field is still worth. 192648. That price sounds familiar. Field flipping is definitely the thing to do. I'm saying that before even selling any of the crop. Not a single part of the field has been sold except for the headland, which isn't really part of the field. The grass headland, that is. I'm blocking the common harvester just to, yeah, annoy it. I've almost finished and I've just figured out that it's not going to fit into the trailer by only about 100 litres. So I'm going to have to take this over to the sell point first of all, but I have just realised as well, um, well I've been studying this for a while, that this is actually pretty much the best price we're going to get. It's just stopped moving at 3392, so I'm assuming it's going to go to just, well it's going to remove the green arrow basically, and then it'll be a decline after that. So I'm going to go over to the grain elevator east which is a place I go to quite often, and this is going to be very impressive. So, off we go. Yeah, not a full trailer, purely because there's no point filling it. There's always going to be something left in the combine harvester. So, the first piece of profit, which is going to be coming off the, the main crop of the field, is, I would imagine, going to be an incredibly high figure. Even though this trailer isn't very big. Here we go. I must remember to record all these figures. Good job I didn't overshoot, because otherwise it would have split the numbers up, making it much harder to calculate. Um, well, as you can see, the money is rocketing. So that is plus 33361. Back for the final piece. It obviously won't be very impressive, but it is still something to sell. This area seems quite nice. The place where the main yard is, is it's alright, but it's very open. This area's got rivers and trees and all kinds of stuff. Well, rivers and trees. As you can see, the combine's finished. Time to unload for the final time. And then it'll be my big calculation and selling the field time. But this is just such a, a brief way of doing the field flipping. 
as we said, all this grass could have been cut again, and again, and I could just keep going. Uh, of course, that is assuming there is no depreciation on the land. I don't think the land depreciates, but it's hard to know. Okay, there we go. Um, so that can be cleared up later. So almost 2,000 more litres here, so I'll teleport over to the cell point. Well, you'll teleport, I won't. Okay. So this will probably be about five thousand pounds. Six five five one. So now I've done that, what I can do is sell phone number eleven, which is worth one nine two six four eight, which is the exact price I bought it for. Um so yeah, sell. Bring a total of two three nine six eight five to my bank account. So how much have I made? Well here goes my calculation. I had two full loading wagons at the beginning, full of grass. Uh, they were £2,414 each. On top of that, I had the first full trailer from the field, which was the soybeans. That was costing 33361 And then I had the second load, which was 6551 And of course, I had the purchase price and sell price of the field, which didn't really matter because it ended up being zero, um, which of course was very good, meaning my profit from essentially buying a field and selling it, or harvesting a crop, was £44,740. Sounds good to me. So there you go, field flipping, it's worth doing. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.